Hi, I'm Lucy Piper. Welcome to the Nutribullet RX, the most technically advanced Nutribullet to date. So I'm going to show you a couple of different features of the Nutribullet RX. The traditional Nutriblast mode and the Super Blast mode for making heated soups and sauces. Firstly, you're going to need three components. You're going to need your oversized cup or short cup, and you're going to need your extractor blade, and of course, the Nutribullet RX base. Plug in the base first, and you're ready to go. Okay, so here I'm going to show you the Nutriblast mode. I'm gonna make you the brand new Nutriblast that can be found here in your recipe book that you're going to receive with your Nutribullet RX. Now for this particular recipe, I'm going to use the shortcut. First of all, I'm gonna add some kale. Nice handful of kale, maybe a little bit more. Next, I'm gonna add the banana. I'm gonna tip all the bananas in, like so. And then I'm gonna add some raspberries. In they go, and blueberries, wheat bran, I'm going to pour the wheat bran in. Very, very good for you. And then pop in some cashews. Nice to have some nuts in there. And then finish it off with some cacao powder. Now you can purchase this separately on our website from the specially formulated Nutriblast Superfoods range. You can even add some ice if you want to, but remember you don't need to crush it. The Nutribullet RX will do all of that for you. Now it's time to add the liquid. Now in most circumstances, people are happy with a bit of cold water, but if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, you could add some coconut water, some almond milk, or any other cool liquids that you might prefer, but never hot liquids or ingredients though. Then you simply fill up to the max line. If you prefer a thicker blast, use less water. If you like it thinner, then fill up to the max line, but never over the max line. That should do it. So now you're gonna take your extractor blade and pop it onto the cup. Now make sure it's fixed on tightly, but not too tight, because you want to be able to undo it, but not too loose so any of the ingredients comes out. Then you pop it onto the base like so. And to make sure the blade sits under the rim. To ensure the blade is fully secure, you won't be able to twist the cup fully in any direction. Push the switch on the side of the power base. This will start a pre-programmed one minute Nutriblast extraction cycle. During this time, the G button on the front of the power base will be green. Remember, don't touch the G button when extracting a Nutriblast, as this will activate Super Blast mode. You don't want hot juice. Keep an eye on the consistency there. The power base will shut off after one minute automatically. If you wish to stop the machine at any time during Nutriblast mode, just switch to off and wait for the motor to finish completely before lifting the cup off the power base. If more extraction is required for your Nutriblast, after the initial one minute cycle, lift the cup off the power base, wait 15 seconds, then return it back to the power base to start another cycle. Remember, don't run more than three consecutive one minute cycles. Okay, so when the Nutriblast cycle has completed and the green light has gone off, simply lift the cup off the base. Always ensure the motor has stopped running before you remove it. I'm just going to remove the extractor blade. It's always important that you release the internal pressure and then either pop on the comfort lip ring. We can drink it straight from the cup if you prefer. Just remember it's important not to leave any blended mixtures sat inside the sealed vessel for long periods of time without first releasing internal pressure. Otherwise, this can cause the cup to burst. This applies for any sealed vessel. If you're not going to drink it straight away, just pop on the Nutribullet RX Stay Fresh lid. Okay, let's see how this tastes. Mmm, that's really good and it's so nutritious. It's a great morning drink to kickstart my day. Cheers.